The Monastery of the Life-Giving Spring, Zodokos Pigi, was an important early Byzantine monastery famous for its holy spring. It was located about half a kilometer outside the city walls of Byzantine Constantinople, near Pigi Gate. The monastery was first mentioned in the 6th century by Procopius, who attributed it to the Emperor Justinian. While saying the church itself was difficult to describe, he writes, In that place is a dense grove of cypresses, and a meadow abounding in flowers, a park abounding in beautiful shrubs, and a spring bubbling silently forth with a gentle stream of sweet water. According to another tradition, the site was discovered by Leo I, when he was still a low-ranking military officer. Leo met a blind man on the road who was begging for water. While searching for water, the Virgin Mary called out, leading Leo to a spring. She told him to rub mud over the blind man's eyes, which restored his sight. A prophetic voice then announced that he should build a church there after he became emperor. Its waters were credited with numerous miraculous cures for many centuries. Some pilgrims took the water in vials, while others were cured at the site. Every year, emperors came to a nearby imperial palace and celebrated the Feast of the Ascension at the monastery. The spring reportedly lost its miraculous healing powers when the Latins made it a Catholic monastery. However, the spring became a major site of pilgrimage after the Byzantines recaptured Constantinople in 1261. The life-giving spring eventually had its own feast day, as it has today. Around this time, the waters were reported as curing Emperor Andronicus III, Paleologos. A new iconography also began to develop during the early Paleologan era which was perhaps based on a mosaic at the Holy Spring. The icon of the life-giving spring first depicted the Virgin in a posture of prayer, while a later variation showed the Virgin and the Christ child sitting in a basin from which water flowed. In time, this became very popular throughout the Orthodox world. While the monastery disappeared after the Ottoman conquest of Constantinople in 1453, the spring continued to be visited by pilgrims. The current church was built in 1833, and several patriarchs are now buried there. Its Turkish name, Balukla Monastery, derives from a legend about a half-fried fish that jumped into the spring during the Ottoman siege of the city.